subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon button so whenever i post new videos you get the notification and you watch my videos hello everyone and today is monday and monday is a fun day monday will be the makeup days Wednesdays will be your hair care and skin care day and Saturday will be the review day and today's makeup video is all about party makeup because I know there will be lots of partying and there will be weddings and this season is more about wedding season especially in uh, South Asian community and so i have decided to make a cut crease eye makeup which i have never done before so nowadays i am on a mission to do lots of makeup videos which i have never 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 ever tried and i really want to post uh, videos on different sort of looks so this is actually a pink sort of makeup look and the palette which i will use is morphe 35f palette and that will be only one palette i'm going to use in today's tutorial so I will start my tutorial uh, by concealing my eyes uh, and I'm using this NYX Above and Beyond Concealer. Uh, I have already done my eyebrows and rest of my face is already done. So it's just my eyes that I haven't done. I have applied my concealer and now I will fix this concealer with the Pore Vanishing Smoothing Powder by Maniso. So if you have been watching me, you know that I usually use these specific products. Shade which we uh, which we need is called sand, and I will just apply this eyeshadow on my crease. After applying the first shade, the next shade which we gonna need the next shade we need is called terrine, and this time I'm taking this small brush because uh, we need more precision with the colors that we are going to apply and we are creating the gradient effect so from the lighter shade we are going to the darker one before we do the cut crease and we need a clean blending brush and we will blend at this stage Again, I'm taking this very small brush and with the help of that, I'm using this, obs this color Obsidian, which is a basically black color. Now with the help of a blending brush, I'm taking this Body Shop blending brush and I will blend this color. We are done with the blending and at this point my eyes they are looking horrible I know that but we are going to clean everything and it will look really really good in the end. Now I, uh, I'm taking this flat brush and I'm taking this my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and my shade was is Sand this shade and with the help of this concealer I will do the gut crease. next shade you need is called belladonna uh, and it's from fourth row it's the fourth shade and you will just do the tapping motion and you will fix this eyeshadow on your eyelid and i'm taking this a small flat brush at this point we have actually done the cut crease and i have packed the eyeshadow on both of my eye but my under eye area is still remaining and we have to clean the eye, uh, upper eyelid area and so what i'm going to do i'm actually i will clean all the upper eyelid area and the whatever was remaining on my concealer brush from which i did on my eyes i will clean with the same concealer With a small brush i will set this after setting the concealer i will merge the con the eyeshadow with the concealer so it should not look like two separate like the concealer and the eyeshadow so this step is totally optional you can uh, leave that a step uh, but i really want to add so i'm using miss rose glitter palette and this color i will use 
and I will just apply it on my eyelid area and I will apply this time just with my fingers so the next thing we are going to do after applying the, uh, after applying the glitter and you can see it's looking too good I will conceal my under eye area and so the next thing we need NYX pencil which is Jimbo eye pencil and the color is milk and I will tight line my eyes with that pencil and I'm using brush for this purpose I learned this method from Kashi he always used pencil with, with the help of brush first shade is sand is the same shade that I have applied before And then a little bit that I have applied on my eyelid, the same Palladina color I will apply on my under eyes. I'm using my this body shop blending brush and then I just want to blend everything very good under my eye. First time I have applied Miss Rose glitter without applying the setting spray and I have noticed that it has a fallout. So I suggest you never ever use this Miss Rose uh, glitter without applying the setting spray because uh, it will fall uh, your eye on your eyes you can see uh, i can see the tra traces of glitter around my eye finally we need this color which is called shimmer and i will apply on on my on my brow bone and on my inner corner of my eye final step i'm using maybelline gel eyeliner and i will uh, I will apply the eyeliner but I will not apply any winged eyeliner and I will apply a bit of a drop of almond oil in that so it will be it will glide easily on my eyes I have finished with the eyeliner thing. After that, I will curl my eyelashes. And after curling my eyelashes, I'm applying my Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express. 